Hi everybody, welcome to another episode of Exploring Photography right here on Adorama TV. I'm Mark Wallace in Tactic Studios in Madrid, Spain, hanging out with Diana Tobar. She is an awesome model here in Madrid. And today we are going to be shooting some black and white portraits. Now, about 10 years ago or so, I was able to hang out for a few days with a really awesome photographer named Greg Gorman, and he showed me a few secrets to shooting black and white photos, specifically to shoot with very hard directional light. And so that is what we're going to be doing today. Now, normally you get hard directional light shooting with hard light modifiers like this. It's any kind of a light modifier. Usually they are metal. And so I've already uh, set up one of my favorite hard light modifiers, the Profoto Magnum Reflector behind us. That's where we're gonna start because it just almost always works. Now what you want to do with this really hard directional light is you wanna have it contrasty. And so you don't wanna have it straight on to the model. You wanna have that to the side so that you get some contrast because black and white photos love contrast. So let's start there. So Diana, if you can go back, we have this already marked, uh, marked out. I'm gonna put this down really quickly. And the first thing we want to do is meter our light. Now we know because this is a very hard light modifier, it's gonna really have some punch. So we're probably gonna be shooting around 10 or 11, F10 or 11, but let's start by metering our light. So I'm gonna meter this right here. And sure enough, that is metering at F11. And so we're just gonna start with this basic setup and see exactly what we get. So Diana and I are looking at these images and they're okay, but they're just not the kind of photos that I was hoping to get. I need to make some changes. And so I think let's do that next. So we're gonna try something different. We still wanna keep our directional light so we have high contrast, but instead of that hard light reflector that I always love, well, we're gonna use a soft light, a strip light. So this is what we have right here. Now notice though that I have it to the side of Deanna. So normally Deanna would be facing this way, but we're gonna have her face this way. And that will give us high contrast light. So what we're gonna get is we're gonna get nice light on this side of Deanna, but this side is going to fall into darkness. That's gonna give us some contrast. A little bit of this light is gonna spill on that white background. So it'll be a darkish gray, but that'll give us enough to give us a silhouette on the other side of Deanna's body. So we're gonna start there. I'm gonna meter this. We'll shoot some tests and see how it looks, and then we'll tweak and go from there. Well, we wanna meter this. I wanna meter at this at F9 because that's about where I wanna be for proper depth of field for these images. So this is sort of a tricky lighting setup. I wanna meter to the light because I'm metering for the highlights, not the shadow. So normally I would meter to the camera, but this only has one light. So I'm metering to the light. And I know that I want this to be consistently F9. And because this is, uh, because of the inverse square law, the light's gonna fall off really rapidly. So it's a little bit finicky. So I'm gonna help direct Diana to be at the right place. So I'm gonna make sure I meter this so I see F9. And it's about right there. Okay, perfect. So she's in the right place. If she wasn't, she would just walk to where the meter is and then we would know that she's in the right place. As we're shooting, I'm gonna keep metering this just to make sure that she hasn't taken a couple of steps to the left or to the right, and then we're falling too far into the shadows or too far into the right, messing up our exposure. So that's a tip. When you're shooting with high contrast light like this, make sure you're coming back, metering, check the position of the model, make sure that things haven't changed when you're having a lot of fun shooting these images, because you will. Okay, now that we're metered, let's take a few test shots. Well, I'm seeing when I'm looking at these images, we have one uh, issue that I don't like. So these are very contrasty. That's exactly what I wanted. But when I'm looking at it now, it just looks a little bit too contrasty. So what I could do is add another light and make it complicated, but we don't need to do that. Let's keep it simple. And so to fix that and to fill in some of those shadows, I'll just add a reflector. So lucky for me, I happen to have one right here. So I'm gonna put this right over here. This light stand will work just fine. All right, so now what we're doing is we're bouncing light from this light 
It's hitting this reflector. It's going into those shadows on Deanna's face, and that should fix things just perfectly. So now let's shoot a couple more. So same exact thing. Look right at me, gorgeous, like that. Ah, yeah, now you can see how that's just filling in that other side. Now that that's fixed up, we can start playing with the posing and really dig into this shoot. So let's do that. Perfect, I love it. Well, I think that the final images that we shot were just really what I was looking for. But the lesson to learn here is, even though you've shot something a million times and it's always worked the same way, sometimes it just doesn't work that way. You have to be willing to experiment and try new things. And so our soft light worked better than our hard light and we got some spectacular results. So thank you so much for joining us. Thank you, Diana. You can follow Diana on Instagram at Diana Tobar. Perfecto, we have it right here so you can see that. And then also you can follow me on Instagram, make sure to do that so you miss, don't miss all of the behind the scenes images and sort of the fun stuff that we post out there. Also subscribe to Adorama TV, it's absolutely free. And then make sure you turn on the bell so you get notifications. Thanks again for joining us and I'll see you again next time.